That's our commercial break song. Yeah? Please cue every time. Um, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming. It means beyond the beyond words. Um, you being here for us and standing with us through this time. I want to thank God. We should have been the first. That we get to celebrate that is life. It could be worse. We may not have been even given the chance. But we are here and we are celebrating a life that was fully, fully lived. As so many people have said, <coughs> that it was so many things. So, so many things. And on top of that, he was a father. A father to the fatherless and a father to us. He still had time even for us. I want to thank um, the, the doctors. Let me start with the doctors. Um, Dr. Omoding, you hold a very special place in this family. The other night, Dr. Omudin came at 3 a.m. and was here till morning to be with Daddy to help Daddy to make sure Daddy was okay. He was the reason that, okay, it was God, but through him, Daddy was able to also enjoy. As you've heard, he found out, oh, it was confirmed two years ago but he was able to attend all these functions. He was able to attend, um, to go and do his work, go home, visit people, see people, because he was in very good hands and a very good doctor. Thank you so much, Dr. Omadeh. Um, I would like to thank the, our bigger family that's not here. Our aunties, our uncles that encouraged Zadi, Uncle Enos, Uncle Eli, Uncle Ezekiel, that is friends. He really, 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 he really talked about you. He loved you so much. And <laughs> towards, towards the end, uh, he kept on asking, do you know my 20 good friends? And we kept on telling him, but Daddy, they can't only be 20 because it's the whole world. Today it's this one, tomorrow it's this one, tomorrow it's that. But he loved each and every one of you. I can't mention all the names, but thank you so much for being such um, a good good support system for him in his good and his bad times. I also want to thank our with the in-laws, in loves, we call them in loves, they became one of us. They may not be here, but they are really part of the children. Um, thank you so much. You know yourselves. I am not going to go down into mentioning names. But I'm going to do it anyway. Uncle D, Rowan, Shida, Terry, thank you so, so much for being part of the family. Daddy loved you and you loved him back. You don't take that for granted. Um... I want to thank my siblings. Guys, thank you so much for loving Daddy. And he, um, and Auntie said that we didn't thank him when he was here. We thanked him. Each and every one of us thanked him when he was here. There's no doubt about that. So thank you guys for loving daddy as much as he loved us. He loved us too much. But we loved him back, definitely. Um, right before I talk about mommy, there's something I wanted to talk about. 
this was when we were in the hospital in Nairobi, when we were praying for him, one of the things that we were convicted about was to seek forgiveness on his behalf. So to ask God to forgive him of everything and that he did knowingly or knowingly that was wrong and just seek forgiveness so that he is on a clean slate. And I also wanted not to only do it with God but with everyone here. In case that he wronged you in a way, please forgive him. He forgave you. If you also wronged him, he forgave you. He forgave you, he forgave you. He talked about forgiveness so much to the end. And I don't know for people who went for functions that he was at, he talked about how he even forgave a mosquito. So, <clears throat> if he can forgive a mosquito, how much more a human being? Yeah? So, kindly take this apology from us on behalf of Daddy and also receive forgiveness on behalf of Daddy. Okay. Um, mommy, we thank you so much. He hung on it Yeah. He even gave you his own special name. That's how much he loved you. And that love is not going anywhere. You've been given how many? A thousand for one. You may not be the same, but we will do our level best to love you and stand with you and support you and encourage you and pamper you and do for everything everything and more we love you so much mommy thank you for keeping your vows that you made before god and made before daddy you i feel like you've even gone beyond and god is going to abundantly bless you and reward you for that Yeah, mommy, we love you. Okay, now daddy. I know they've talked about um, all the beautiful aspects of daddy and how he was sometimes not simple. But for me, recently I looked at it and I said that simple was, but um, not being simple was just because he was so passionate. He was passionate about the things that he loved all the things that he thought about that he was such a philosopher that every morning there is a new philosophy so you see life now every morning what have you thought about today now let me tell you what i think about and it goes on for like 30 minutes so if you're late you might as well count an hour after because daddy would give you an example or just a new idea and like brenda said he gave birth to another daddy over here so if you want to know Daddy, you'll also meet him with Daudi. Daudi is also a philosopher like that. Um, even with that said, actually, Daddy is alive in each and every one of us here. And even you, because he left something. If it wasn't blood, it was an idea. If it wasn't an idea, it was faith. If it wasn't faith, it was a, it was a story. It was patriotism. It was loving the nature, loving, like all the things he loved and shared, he has left in each and every one of us. Like he always said, his three words are values, sharing, things, values, and sharing. And he did all three. He had things, and he shared them. He had values, he also shared them. And so they're in each and every one of us here. So it is, he's going to live on. He is going to live on. May we take each and everything that he we admired about him. He imprinted on us and leave it on. Daddy, my relationship with Daddy, I was, I am, excuse me, I am Daddy's last girl. And so some, so many people thought I was the last born, but I am not. Um, Jeremiah had to go to the village, but he will be back. And I think because of that, I can't take some longer. Um, and I think sometimes it also went overboard because there are times I felt like Daddy just wanted to see me as a flower vase in the house and know it's okay. He would ask Edna, and I'm like, but Daddy, I can't see 
sit at home and just look. Me no not have a conversation with me not to just for me to be home. And it used to rub me off the wrong way. Then I realized it was all love. And he did that for each and every one of us as well. We all have unique relationships with daddy. No one can say, ah, I don't know, how can I remember daddy? If they are to all share memories, if they are going to share memories, they will all be very unique. So, me and daddy are very alike. Um, to go down to the home journey. To the life. Um, and, and one of those things he'd say, Konki way, every wedding that is there for you, you go. And I learned, then I learned a saying in the Nyankoro. Ezuka is a revoruga. And after I learned that saying, oh, every time he'd ask me, Nyo wenko kuzomu bujen, I said, Ezuka is a revoruga. So if you think for you, you went for weddings, now you wait for me. Because I will also attend just like you have. I also have as very many friends just like you have. And, yeah. That is who that, that was our relationship. The last day, I got to spend Father's Day with him. The last Father's Day with him on the 19th of June, 2022. I put him in my car. You guys, I drove daddy. I put a full gem in a small car. And I, he, I drove him to a restaurant and we sat down and talked and talked about so many things, conversations I am thankful for that I had. I told him um, things that were really in my heart because growing up, me and daddy were very, very close. And then I think when I became a bit older, he became a bit too tough. And then I said, uh, but that day we talked about certain things that I think had affected, that had affected our relationship. And I wanted to share it not only with my siblings, but with everyone here. Um, and it was one of the things that I told him about was anger. And it was something that had rid him of so much. And when I told him about it, he was actually shocked. <laughs> And he's like, I thought that was so easy. I said, Daddy, easy? How? Like, you know how it reaches a point, and because he's such a military man, when it's here, like they've been saying, it is here. Try and fail, but never fail to try. That was Daddy. And so it started building here. So I told him about it. And he said, you know, it's only people that, like, that are with, like, friends or see you or know you that can tell you these things and you realize. And he was so thankful for it and he promised to to be better. And he really was. He really was. It's not something that was going to change in a snap of a finger, but he was more intentional in yes, letting go and letting God and catching himself. When he's about to, he's like, let me put water on some fire, on this fire, and it it really enhanced very many relationships. It also enhanced his relationship with mommy, um, and yeah, it was really something that we thank God for. Yeah, yeah. Let me allow my siblings to say something. But Daddy, we love you. We always will. You are here to stay in us. And we are going to make you so proud.